So hello guys, welcome back. This is Virendra Kumar. So in this uh, video session, I am going to explain the POM dot XML file for the BDD Cucumber project. So if you are running your automation script through the Maven command, okay, then you need to prepare your POM dot XML file properly. I know you have run your automation script with test runner dot Java file directly, and it will work for everyone. But when it's time to run with the terminal or with the Maven command, then your pom.xml file is not properly prepared. Okay. So for that, how we can fix and how we can prepare? So just suppose that you have your pom.xml file, your name, your version, artifact ID, group ID. Till that you have done. Okay. Now you need to add some properties. So in the property, you can add the source encoding and the output encoding UTF ID. Okay. Once it's done, the property part is done. Then we will come to the dependencies. It will start with the dependencies. Okay. Under the dependencies, we will add one by one dependency. So the first dependency is your Selenium Java. Okay. So on my screen, you can check the Selenium Java. This is the version which I'm currently using, and this is the group ID which I am providing. Okay, this is the first dependency. Then I am adding the Selenium server. Okay. This is also very required for the running the Selenium through the Maven. So Selenium server dependency you need to add. Then we have the dependency for SLF 4J simple. This SLF 4 is simple you need to add, otherwise you will get the error that your SLF is not found. Okay. So you need to add this dependency. Then we need to add the dependency for JXL. Okay. This JXL API is required because we are getting some JXL related API issues. When we are running through the Maven command, we will get the uh, source code is not found, JXL is not found. So in that case, we need to add this dependency. If you are not getting, you no need to add. But I was getting this error related to this dependency. So I just added this one. Okay. Then your assertion. Your assert J, assert code, you need to add this dependency. Then your ham case call. Okay. You need to add this dependency also. And your J craft. You need to add this dependency J craft. Okay. On my screen, you can see and you can match exactly the pom.xml file with your pom.xml file. You need to add the PDF box. If you are dealing with the PDF file, then you need to add this apache.pdf box dependency, otherwise you can leave it. Same this one. Uh, this is the POI. So Apache POI, when you are dealing with the Excel file, reading, writing the data, then you can add the apache poi dot com dependency okay and if you are running with the test engine you can add the test engine dependency this is the version which i am using and just of you need to add this one also because you will get the just of error also so when you are getting this error you can add this dependency okay now here we will add some cucumber dependencies all the cucumber dependencies which i'm referring from the info checks okay this is the group id cucumber j unit this is a version and this is the scope then your j unit you need to add the dependency for your j unit and score will be the compile score okay then we have cucumber pio core container okay so you need to add this dependency from info checks and this score will be the test then we have Pyoko container dependency differently. So for that, we have this version 2.14.3. Okay. Then Cucumber core. You need to add this Cucumber core. So this is info checks Cucumber core file is there. So you need to add this dependency. Then uh, we have the Cucumber HTML. So info checks Cucumber HTML. You need to add this dependency. Then Cucumber JVM DPS. So dependencies, so JVM dependency cucumber, this will also come from the info chucks. You need to add this dependency also. Then uh, your jerkin, so it will support the jerkin language which you are writing for the uh, BDD cucumber feature files. So you need to add 
uh, the jerkin dependency which is coming from the info checks okay. then you can add the jerkin jvm dependencies so you can add this dependency now uh, if you want the maven cucumber reporting so we want to generate some cucumber html report so you can add this dependency it will come from the master thought group id and then we have the cucumber core now we will add from the io.cucumber okay this is a version which i'm referring and cucumber java also from io.cucumber cucumber junit io.cucumber and com.google.com guava dependency also we will add then master thought this is the cucumber reporting okay this was the maven cucumber reporting dependency and this is the different one only the cucumber reporting okay both are the different one and uh, java x api binding api so if you are getting such errors related to java xb runtime error then you can add these two dependencies in your com.xml file so there we have the, all the dependencies added so you can close the dependency section so that much dependency we have uh, okay now we have the build section into the build section we have some plugins so we will add the plugin so the first plugin is the maven compiler plugin these plugins are very important to run your maven commands it will compile your maven command so that's why we need the maven compiler plugin and this is the configurations for the 1.8 because i'm using the jdk 8 version so my source and target will be the 1.8 the second plugin we have the maven surefire plugin okay, this is the maven surefire plugin the version is the jdk 8 this is the version then third plugin is the maven failsafe plugin this is the maven failsafe plugin here and this is the configuration part okay so in the configuration parts we have the include sections in the includes we include the test.java we include the test start.java we include the test suit.java and we include the fan.java okay so you can include these commands uh, then we have the base url okay we have driver dot base dot url and these are the parallel classes you can add if you want to run the parallel executions you can do these settings then finally into the execution part we have the execution integration test and this is a verify command so when you type the maven verify it will execute this command and this is the plugin which i used for the cucumber html reporting so you can add this plugin as it is okay i will explain this one in when we are generating the cucumber plugin so this is the com.xml file you need to prepare okay this is very important now how you can uh, run with the maven command for the execution part so for that what you need to do i will go to the local terminal okay and and then you need to go to your project okay so what you can do you just go to this project okay and I am cd.com test it here you can go to your project now under this project I have home.xml file so now if I write ambient clean then it will start executing the maven command so you can say build is successful now I want to launch this one so how I can do so first I need to First, I can remove this one, headless mode, because I want to launch the browser, okay. Now, uh, I will come to the terminal for this location of the project, and there I will type MBN verify, because our execution goal is the verify. Now, it will start the execution.
now that it will running the test runner file so you can see this file it will take as input and it will start the running of this file so it will check the setting for that it's a print google dot feature file it will go to this feature file and then it will uh, take the one statement and it will start executing now you can see it's launching the browser so it, it is starting the chrome and the script is running here through the maven commands okay it will enter this text and it will search the results so this is a very simple flow which i am going to execute now you can see that the build is successful through the maven command So this is how we can run through the Maven command the BDD Cucumber project.